morning guys welcome to today's video i have a few minutes because sean is sleeping in the carrier and i'm having my lunch so i wanted to do a very casual video where i kind of share a little bit about his two month like update like how he's been doing um we went to the doctor this week so i wanted to give you like his stats and then let you know what we've been doing the last several days because spoiler alert um i have gone dairy free now and we're trying to take the milk out of my diet to help him be less fussy so we'll talk about that i have some things to show you because we went to Publix yesterday and i was like if i'm gonna do this dairy free thing let me see if i can find some like replacements for dairy because i had been stressing not gonna lie like cutting out dairy i know a lot of you guys were like you're gonna have to cut out dairy or cutting out dairy helped me and i was like really waiting to the last possible minute to do it because i do love dairy so this time when we went to the doctor she was like okay we've tried other things let's try this now let's see if he reacts you know well to the change so we are going to be doing that but anyway i'll show you guys like some of the stuff and we'll chat about that i did want to tell you guys that since sean is now 23 inches he graduated to like the next step of this carrier and i actually like it much better for like this position this carrier first of all i don't even have it on 100 percent correctly but it has like two different stages right so like you have like the newborn position for when they're under 23 inches and then this position for when they are over 23 inches for the newborn stage i'm not gonna lie um i didn't really love the carrier just because it didn't have as much head support so you guys would always see me in the vlogs and you'd be you'd watch me like hold his head with my hand which again is not the end of the world but it was a little bit not as snug as i would have wanted but now that he's 23 inches and i can put him in this position this is working out a lot nicer like having both of my hands and feeling much more free so just a heads up if you want like kind of like a review on the carrier um i do like it like number one it's pretty it is comfortable um it is easy to put on but when they're tiny like i think i would have if i could do it again like i probably would have worn him more in like a baby wrap when he was teeny teeny tiny and then graduated to um something like this which very much feels like a wrap now that like he's got more head support can you guys even see that but anyway i actually have to charge my camera for a second and then i'll keep going with the update but i hope you guys enjoy just like hanging out with me for a little bit and seeing how he's doing at two months all right this little dude is probably going to be waking up any minute because he won't stay like settled like that's one of my biggest issues with him in terms of sleep like even when he's sleeping on me like if i'm carrying him he still wakes up every like 20 to 30 minutes sometimes and then like he doesn't settle right back into sleep so sometimes it's like i've got to fight him again to get him back down like he's not a long stretch sleeper and i don't know what it is that i'm doing wrong but it is killing me so i'm hoping that he'll get used to more like being in the carrier like this and doing at least like a 45 minute hour long nap i know that ideally it would be more like two hours of a nap but if you could do like one hour i would be quite happy here in the carrier especially since joe's gonna be going back to work soon so i've been extremely blessed that this time around joe's been home to help me with the big kids to help me kind of juggle things sometimes he'll take sean up for one of his naps and it gives me time to like do things but here very soon joe's gonna be going back to work and it's gonna be only me by myself with the three kids so that's gonna be exciting and fun and i hope to share very much a lot of that with you guys and just how i'm trying to get some stuff done with a newborn and still like you know homeschool the kids and have the kids at home so definitely stay tuned for that because that'll be fun but anyway we went to the doctor for his two month appointment and he was weighing 11 pounds 15 ounces so almost 12 pounds and he was measuring in terms of his height 23 inches so weight wise i'm quite pleased they did say he dropped a little bit in percentage but that overall he was like in the 40 something percentile so i'm happy with that we are like normally they see them now like for four months like for a four month appointment i'm gonna go in for a three month appointment just to kind of monitor how he's doing with his weight just to make sure that he doesn't continue to drop but the doctor said that he looks good he's strong you know all of like the normal stuff he looks pretty good but of course and they ask you they're like you know is baby sleeping is baby eating well and it's like no <laughs> like baby is not sleeping <laughs> baby is still not like the breastfeeding like i am breastfeeding him so i'm exclusively nursing him but it's hard with breastfeeding because you never really know how much milk they're taking in so i think at this point they're supposed to be able to go like three hours between feeds 
and Sean's more of like a every two hours that like he's seeming to like want to nurse so he is more of like a snacker like a lot of his feeds aren't super long I've told you guys that he doesn't nurse for a super long period of time like he'll nurse and like I know that he's getting milk Joe makes fun of me he's like stop choking our child because sometimes like I'm nursing Sean and like you could tell he's getting a lot of milk and he's kind of like you know, I don't know if it's that my milk is coming down too quickly or what the deal is, but he like starts coughing and I'm like, okay, I gotta slow it down, but he is getting milk. But because of that, like a lot of times his feeds are kind of fussy. And so sometimes like he doesn't get a full feed. I've kind of told you guys that before. So he doesn't do like 15 minute, 30 minute nursing sessions, just chilling there at the breast. And like, then he just lets go and he's so satisfied. Like he'll just kind of do smaller feeds um, and then it makes it so that he doesn't really go longer than two hours between feeds. So because of that, like I mentioned that to the doctor, the doctor did recommend that we try to extend that as much as possible. Like try to stretch the feeds as close to three hours as possible. So like the last few days, even though I can kind of tell that he's starting to get fussy, that he could maybe, you know, start nursing. I've been trying to like, hold him off, entertain him, put him in the carrier, bounce him up and down, take him outside, like do all the things so we can get closer to three hours in between feeds. That way he'll be hungrier at that feed and then maybe do a longer feed. So it's like a lot of experimenting and trial and error. But all of that to say, I can still tell that he is pretty fussy. Sean is the kind of baby that doesn't want to be put down that when he's feeding, you can tell that he's trying to um, like pass gas. Same goes when he's sleeping. So even on the occasion that we do get him down, that we do get him able to sleep, he wakes himself up because he's got to pass gas. He's got to like, I don't know. He's like, you can tell he's trying to poop. Like, I just don't think that he's a very like settled baby, not a very chill, comfortable, settled baby. Again, this is just me trying to make guesses right because like he can't tell me so it's really frustrating and it's really hard i'm just going based off of what i see but at this point i just feel like he's not comfortable so at the doctor's appointment like that was kind of just the goal right like how do we get him to be more comfortable as a baby how do we get him to you know feed and enjoy his feeds and then be able to sleep and do longer stretches um and so what we decided to do is um remove the dairy from my diet like I mentioned at the beginning, I know that's a very common thing. A lot of babies can't digest that super well. I don't know how much of it is that they can't digest that well, how much of it is like, hey, they've got really, you know, immature digestive systems. So it takes them a while to kind of like get things going. But if there's something that I can do that's, you know, not the end of the world, um, then I'm gonna try to remove the dairy from my diet see if it helps him. It's gonna take a couple weeks for the dairy to get out of my system anyway. So it'll be a while before we see like a huge difference, if we see any at all, but I'll give it a shot. I'm not against that and see if it helps him just to be a little bit more comfy. If there is something that's bothering him though, like it's not like he has a severe milk protein allergy because he's never had a rash because of it. He doesn't have blood in his stool. Like there's some babies with really severe um, milk protein allergies. I don't think Sean's there, but whatever. Point is, we'll see if that helps him. Because at night, he still wakes up like every two hours. He has never, I think there's been like two nights. Hey bud, there's been like two nights that he did like a three and a half, four hour stretch and then never again. I don't know why. So I would love to see some longer stretches. The doctor said that at this age, there's some babies that are doing like six hour stretches. Um, Sean, yeah, that's, I haven't seen six hours in a very long time. So every two hours, even co-sleeping with me, even being in the bed with me, whether it's because he's hungry or whether it's because he's uncomfortable and like trying to pass gas and poop and I don't know, rearrange his body. Like, I don't know what it is, but he keeps waking up. Like I said, we'll try the dairy thing, see if it makes a difference. Maybe it just takes some time. Sleeping just, I don't know what else to do. Like you guys are the best and I love you guys and I love this community because there's been a lot of good recommendations and feedback and hey, I've gone through the same thing and like that's always helpful to hear. But we've been trying, we've been trying to put him in the crib for his naps. So Joe and I have come to the conclusion that for the majority of his naps, at the very least once or twice a day, we are going to try to get him to stay in the crib, okay? So we swaddle him, we rock him, we get him to sleep, and then we try to put him down in the crib. A lot of times we put him down in the crib, the minute that his butt hits the crib, his eyeballs open and he wakes up and he's like, get me out of here. Like, what do you think Like you're doing? Like put me back in your arms. So it's really frustrating. So we'll do that again. Sometimes he'll settle and stay. Sometimes he wakes up right away again. So we try, like we do the attempt of the crib, 
three times. If after the third time he decides he's not gonna stay in the crib, then we'll hold him or we'll put him in the carrier or we'll do something else. But it's very frustrating because he doesn't stay. On the occasion that we do get him to stay in the crib, the maximum time he has stayed in the crib has been 30 minutes. So that was a huge win. I think that was like earlier this week that we had a 30 minute nap. Then like earlier today, Joe tried to do that for his first nap and the longest that he lasted was four minutes in the crib. So it's just hard, like I don't want to have him crying. Like I'm not big about them crying and just leaving them there to cry at this point. Like we'll do sleep training if he's not like getting with the program, we'll do sleep training like we did with the other kids at six months. But at this point where they're still so tiny, like I try to avoid having them cry if there's something that I can do to help them. But yeah, it's hard. And then if he is sleeping in the crib, um, so let's say like he's doing 20 minutes in the crib and this is me with my timer and like I've got the, the monitor there so I can see him. If I put him down and I'm watching him and it's like 20 minutes or 25 minutes and he suddenly wakes up. I won't go in there right away because I know that that's like the thing, right? Like just let them like try to put themselves back to sleep. I wait and he doesn't put himself back to sleep. He starts screaming. So then I'll go in there, I'll pick him up and then I'll try to like rock him again and get him asleep so I can put him down. Sometimes I can extend the nap, like I can get him back to sleep and then he just like sleeps in my arms. But other times, like after those 20 minutes, that's it, he is done. He doesn't wanna sleep again, he fights me, he screams, he's like, I'm not sleeping anymore, I'm done. And that is hard because then his nap is just 20 minutes. So that has been just like an abbreviated version <laughs> of naps with Sean. It seems like it's just gonna be one of those struggle points like it always has been for my kids, but I will keep you guys posted if anything changes. Other than that, you guys, like obviously I'm surviving. I'm surviving life with three kids. He seems to be doing fine other than that, but I know that sleep is important, so we want him to sleep a little bit longer. But it's been really cute this month because he started to like smile and he does his little cooing sounds. And I'll see when he wakes up, which is gonna be like any minute now, I'll see if I can get some clips of that. But he smiles and he coos. And so you can actually interact with him and engage and like I'll spend time like in his wake time. That's what I do. If I'm not doing stuff around the house during his wake time, I'll be like right there up in his face and we're smiling and we're talking and I'm singing to him. And it's been super cute. The kids are obsessed with him. The kids love him. The kids would be literally in his bassinet if I let them all the time. Like half my day is like, please be gentle. Please don't go in there. Don't go in the bassinet. The bassinet is for the baby. Please don't fall on him. Please remember the baby is there. Like they always want to be around him, which I think is the cutest thing. So I'm glad that they are home and that they get to experience like all of these little milestones alongside him. He's still not a huge fan of tummy time, but I do think he's pretty strong because he does raise his neck up and he'll look at things and like him and Joe have their little staring matches. <laughs> it's really cute. So I think that's really the extent of the updates, like the extent of like how he's doing. I just wish that I could like put him down a little bit more. Like I wish like earlier before I put him in the carrier, I tried putting him in the mamaru he started crying. I try putting him in the bouncer sometimes. The one that I have down here, he starts crying. Doesn't last more than like two minutes. So these babies that just like love to be sat down and love to just be in the bouncer and spend hours just looking at their family, live their lives. Like, I don't know where these babies are, but that has never been my baby. So if you have a chill, super chill baby, like, that is a blessing. That is that is wonderful, good for you. I'm gonna not be mad at you. I'm gonna be happy for you. But just like teach me your ways, like explain to me the process. Let me know your secrets. You know, with these sleep issues and the nap issues, like all of that, like I know that it's very normal, but I will say the hardest part about it, for me at least, <laughs> is like just feeling like a freaking, like just like a failure. Like feeling like I'm supposed to be able to get you to sleep and I am not able to get you to sleep. Like, what am I doing wrong? Like, I try to not live my life in that space. Like, I'll have those fleeting thoughts and then I work hard to just like pray about it and try to remember. Like, all the things that I tell you guys about, like, it's not your fault, um, you know, you're offering your baby a nap, like, you can't force him to nap. Like, all those things at my core, I know. I know that to be true. I know that I am not a failure, but you have those moments where you're frustrated and that's like, how you feel. You're like, why do other people's babies sleep? But mine doesn't. What am I doing wrong? So just know that if you're in the same boat, if you have a two month old, if you're still not on a schedule, you still don't have a routine, your baby's not sleeping or you're having feeding issues or whatever it is, 
it's very normal. There are other people out there that experience this and not every single baby is gonna be like a perfect sleeper and a perfect napper and a perfect eater. And we're all as moms just trying to do the best that we can for them. And eventually they will get there. Like I know that Riley was the same way. Like both of my kids have slept terribly and now they are older, they do sleep. Jackson still every once in a while will wake up because he's like, I'm scared or I had a nightmare. Like he still wakes up sometimes. For the most part, my children now will sleep through the night and they're doing just fine. They develop just fine. Like they are smart little humans. So I hope that that's encouraging in some way, shape or form. But anyway, now let's talk about food, right? Like that's like the fun stuff talking about food. So since I had to go dairy free, like I said, I went to Publix and I was like trying to figure out what things I could like easily swap. Like I thought about my diet what is it that I normally eat a lot of and like what am I gonna have to cut out so immediately for me I said coffee creamer I do have coffee creamer in my coffee every morning and I am NOT a black coffee girl like I cannot have black coffee Joe does black coffee and it is disgusting to me so if I'm gonna have coffee which I do need to have coffee <laughs> then I need to have some kind of non dairy creamer so I'll show you what I got don't mind the state of the fridge it is what it is at this point you guys saw it the other day before I did this little Publix run but this is what I got and this I had in my coffee this morning and it was delicious so it's from the silk brand dairy free oat creamer what I've heard from a lot of people is that oat creamer is a lot thicker of a consistency than like almond milk so I did get this and it was very tasty I loved it I drank all my coffee so this I could definitely do and then I haven't tried like these other ones but I also picked up this um califia califia I think is how you say it this one I got even though it is an almond milk creamer I heard that like this brand is really good and then I also got Chobani oat milk vanilla. So this is actual oat milk, not specific creamer, but maybe that'll taste good and I can have cereal with that. And then this was another creamer that I got that I haven't tried yet, but I promise that I will give you guys feedback as soon as I can. So I have that. I also discovered that there is non-dairy Ready Whip. So I did pick this up. I haven't tried it, Joe did. I forgot to ask him if he liked it. I mean, he didn't say he didn't like it. So let's see, I also got the So Delicious yogurt. I like having yogurt a lot for breakfast. So this brand, I really love their yogurt. Yogurt. I had a key lime one this morning and it's delicious. So I got like a bunch of different flavors. I did pick up this cream cheese, the Miyoko's brand. I've heard it's really good. I haven't tried it yet, but again, I'll let you know what I think. And then Country Crock has a plant butter. So this is a dairy-free butter, which a lot of people have said tastes just like regular butter. So I'm gonna be using that instead of regular butter. I did get hummus too, just because I wanted like some dairy-free snacks. So I got some of that. I have heard that cheese is one of the hardest things to find like a dairy-free replacement. I got this one. And I did hear from my friend that if you're gonna use dairy-free cheese, like to use it very sparingly. So we make little homemade pizzas. So I thought maybe I'd try this out and I don't know, that way I can have some kind of a pizza that tastes somewhat decent. Then another thing that I love to eat that is dairy is ice cream. So since Publix had like, they had like buy one, get one free on some stuff. I tried out these two brands. Well, I haven't tried this one. This one is that same So Delicious brand of the yogurts. This one is dairy free. Um, it looks good, but I haven't tasted it. So I can't tell you if it's good or not. But I did grab this and this. Um, these are both delicious, like absolutely delicious. I don't know why there's hair all over my ice cream. But last night after the kids were in bed, I came down here and I tried them and they were both like bomb, like so good. This one legit tastes like a chocolate brownie and it's just like creamy and yummy. It's just really, really good. So I got this one. And then this is a sorbet. This one's um, strawberry margarita flavor. And you guys, like I was telling you guys on Instagram, I wish I had this like all during my pregnancy because obviously you can't have real margaritas during like your pregnancy, but it tastes like a margarita. It tastes so good. It tastes like a frozen margarita. It is dairy free. It is a delicious dessert. So from now on, even if I'm not like supposed to be dairy free or whatever, I'm still gonna buy these because they're really, really good. And so I'm just so grateful that this time around, it just seems like there's so many other dairy-free alternatives. A lot of the snacks that we're eating these days anyway, like a lot of the stuff that we get from Thrive Market is dairy-free already. So I'm glad that I'll be able to still enjoy a somewhat like good tasting diet and that it'll hopefully, you know, help him with some of his stomach issues. So that is the plan for now. All right, it's a little later. <laughs> little man is awake. He actually did a long good nap in the carrier. I'm washing the Love Every play mat, so I don't have it down here. So this is just that bassinet that goes on the pack and play. Whoa, he's like, what the heck happened here? But it's nice to have somewhere just to lay him down if I'm gonna like go get something in the kitchen or whatever. Hi, bud. 
Hi! The kids are playing outside too, so the door's open, the fan is blasting. But I just wanted you guys to be able to see him. Hi! His nails lately have been super long. I've been having to file them, but he has like a little scratch on his nose because he scratched his nose with his nails. Something also irritated his skin today. So he has like a little bit of a rash on his arm, but he is doing fine. I guess the one thing really to share at this point, like visually speaking of Sean, is that his eyes are still light, you guys. And I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see here on this video, but his eyes are still blue. So I think that they might be staying blue, um, but I never in a million years thought that I would have a child with blue eyes. But yeah, I obviously have dark brown eyes. The other two kids have dark brown eyes, but Joe has like these really pretty like green, blue, hazely eyes. His eyes are like all different colors. But when Joe and I got married, and we started thinking about having kids and stuff. I was like, I hope that you have come to like the conclusion that we're never gonna have blue eyed kids because I just, I mean, I knew that there was like a small chance, but. I really never thought that I'd see that in my lifetime. So it looks like we might have a blue-eyed baby. What's going on, little man? I think he likes the camera because it's like black and he can see it super easily. I put out his little love every card so that he had something to look at. And he's been just kind of chilling here. Joe just got back home. And he's holding this little guy because he was getting fussy. And he is drooling like up a storm. He's you, getting a tooth, I'm sure. He's not getting a tooth. What time do they, like when do they usually get their first teeth? Thought we had some time, but he is super drooly. Grigio will help you. <laughs> Ew, that's Jackson's dog. <laughs> now it's, it's full of dogs. saliva. But yeah, Joe says that every time that he's carrying Sean like this, Sean like messes with his phone. So he's like covering his watch. phone. I mean, his watch, his watch. He's tapping it. He taps all the buttons on Joe's watch. Let me see if I can get a clip of his eyes. I was telling them that he has like blue eyes, but I don't know that it's gonna come across here and all his double chin. We're waiting for him to get sleepy so we can put him down for his next nap, but this is what he does. Like, he doesn't want to be put down, but he also, like, is not ready to go to sleep yet, so we just have to walk around the house holding him like this. I think he likes that position, by the way. Because he just kind of chills. He sees everything. Yeah. Go on little tours of the house. Oh, why is he sad? Look, he's gonna cry. What did he do? Oh no, move. <laughs> so yeah, really that's all I wanted to share in today's update. Um, other than that, like what? He's still in his size one Kirkland diapers, the Costco diapers that I still like. So he's still wearing that. I just ordered him some clothes. I ordered him some stuff still in zero to three months, but then like the stuff for the fall, I ordered three to six months so that he can kind of grow into that because even now like the zero to three months stuff is kind of getting snug on him. Is he yawning? Yeah, we're watching the yawns. Like, the yawns are like the big like cue for us that he's getting sleepy. And this time it looks like he was only awake. He didn't even like last an hour like usually their wake windows should be about 60 to 90 minutes and it seems like he's on the shorter end of that probably because his first nap of the day was a little bit short so that's what our day looks like like just you know him waking up from a nap keeping him entertained um feeding him actually speaking of feeding him i have all of this milk in the freezer so i had told you guys that i'm using the haka so the haka is over here with milk and i have this entire well not the entire freezer but i have a whole bunch of milk that I've been saving. So technically this milk all has like the dairy in it. So that's a shame. Like I'm not gonna wanna give him that milk if I can avoid it because that's like got the stuff in there that would irritate him. So what I am gonna do is I'm gonna take that, put it in the other freezer and have that kind of as a backstock breast milk. And I have heard that some people will use it, like save it and use it for like breast milk baths and that there's like other ways that you can use the breast milk. So if you have any suggestions on ways that I can use that so that it doesn't go to waste, so that it doesn't like get thrown away, let me know. But that's primarily what I'm gonna keep it for is like, emergency and then maybe we'll do a couple like breast milk baths where I've heard it's like really good for their skin and good for like if they have eczema or if they have like you know any skin issues because like I worked hard <laughs> to save all that milk so I don't want it to go bad so again if you have any other recommendations or suggestions on what to do with it let me know yeah I'm gonna go because Joe just took um Sean upstairs and I'm gonna go hang out with Sean for this nap but thanks for watching today's video if you guys have any questions about like him what we're doing I don't know any of the baby related newborn questions let me know in the comments and then like I said I'll keep you guys posted on the dairy free diets maybe I'll do like a what I eat in a day video I don't know I'll either do that or within my vlogs you guys will see 
me like talk about some of the stuff that I try. But I hope you guys are doing good. I hope that if you also have a two month old or a little one, I don't know, I hope you're hanging in there. Like hang in there, we will survive, we will make it through. It's obviously hard like I always tell you guys, but it is worth it like times a million. So no regrets, <laughs> baby number three has been fantastic and it's just such a blessing. We are happy here, we are healthy here. And yeah, we're a little crazy, we're a little nuts, we're a little sleep deprived but we feel very blessed so now that the kids are screaming and they're about to start fighting and sean's losing his mind because i need to go give him his nap i'll go but again thank you for being here make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys